Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmore. Now, in the last episode, we had some killer problems uh, regarding my microphone, and this time around, I would like to um, happily announce that I believe they're finally going to be fixed, um, for at least for a little while. Now, I mentioned before that I got a new, a new computer, and that's what I'm recording on now. Um, however, I've also mentioned that I've been having a couple problems getting certain things to work. And um, I am, again, very happy to announce that I think I finally got everything to work fine as is. Uh, whatever um, volume problems I was having with my voice regarding, including the... Um, actually, let me test. Okay, I just clicked a bunch there. Including the clicking sound, I want to say that I finally found a way to get around that. Which is pretty neat. Um, now, I'm a little bit sad right now as well, because, uh, well... Okay, th there's still one more monster in the Monster Zoo, apparently. And I want to say that we may have a... Uh, why I do that? Okay, um... Well, I never said I was the smartest man on Earth, and I've said that several times now. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not. Anyway, um... Okay, those are pretty bad. I'm not gonna risk hitting that right now. I really want some health back, actually. Um, and I don't care how I do it, whether it be through, like, vampiric mushrooms or through eating. I just really, really want some health back right now. Ooh, you know what, what would, uh, would also be a good way to get my health back? Um... Get via the, the, um... You know, this could feasibly be the last monster I was looking for. Let's see, do I have any bolts on me? Do I have any, um... Oh, I have those. I might be able to make some, uh, some, uh... Um, let's see. I might be able to go ahead and just make some... No, I'm not. I can make that, though. I can make a makeshift bomb. I think I will, actually. There we go. I'll just use on this, even though I think it might hit me, too. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's good. That did, like... That didn't do so much damage whatsoever. Yeah, so I think we might actually have to, um... Let's call it quits on this uh, monster zoo because I can't really find the final monster. I really wish there was a way for monsters to be like quarantined, or maybe a way for you to um to like maybe not have to collect each and every one of them. Like maybe if, if maybe if like 20 turns went by and you were missing one, then the game will like cut you some slack and let you just get and just give you the item or something. But I don't know. Just in a situation like this, it gets very annoying. I, and I'm also still like searching down here just in case I may have missed one. Like, who knows, by law of average, I'll have to run back uh, back here a couple times in order to complete the, uh, uh, to fully complete the floor anyway, so, who knows, best case scenario, I'll run to him on the way back. Okay, now I can also sap into the Gaga Glaze, let me see what I can do, actually. It's like, encrusting, um, hmm. I can encrust my helmet, my, uh, my kilt? I, I'm looking to replace that kilt at some point. Or my, uh, my helmet, was it? Yeah, I think I'm going to wait to get a new helmet, because that is something I'm still uh, holding out on. Alright, so let's uh, continue onwards here. Uh, now, I want to continue going up this way. Let's see. Um, and I want to get a little bit more careful regarding um, yeah, regarding using my dragon more. Because he can kill a majority of these enemies now that we're outside of the, uh, the fire world. He he's going to have an easier time doing it. I just got to be careful. Just keep in mind, I'm I'm getting to the point in which I'm probably gonna permanently be at this health for a little while. Oh, oh wait, no, that was the last monster in the monster zoo. Oh, that's really convenient, actually. Uh, what what did he drop? He dropped like these pants right here. Those aren't that. Eh. Yeah, those are pretty. Actually, wait, let, let me look at them side by side. Um. Oh man, which one did I get from the monster zoo? I think it was this one actually. That's not great, honestly. Yeah, even if we were missing pants, I think I probably would have skipped on that one. Well, that's fine. It'll sell for a lot. It'll sell for a moderate amount. Ooh. Oh, I think that's uh, what I have, actually. Or exactly what I have at the current moment. You know what I should do? I should jump away. Uh, it's gotta be here. I should eat some vampiric mushrooms. Where did my dragon go? I think he died, actually. Let's uh, put another one up here. Let's start distracting these monsters. Yeah, then we'll start to hurt these guys. Try to get any health back any way we can. And as long as I kill them before they kill me, I am going to get health back, like, objectively. Ooh, my uh, buffs are gone, too. I should probably renew those. Uh, so a prince. That's our last prince. They lasted us quite some time, actually. And uh, that appears to be a... a um... Yeah, we, we do have that. And this is just a better version of it. Yeah, one more burliness and uh, one... Um... And one... Uh, let's see. And one uh, ice resistance, which is pretty good. You know, I think I was going to hold on to this. Um, just, uh, in case I run to another, um, um, just in case I run to another, uh, uh, game's auto-saving, there we go. In case I run to another, um, 
uh, Anvil of Krong, which by Law of Average, I will do at some point. Uh, let's see, let's just keep putting these down. I'm getting another Vampiric uh, before I fight this monster. See, I'm not desperate for health. I mean, I can live a couple hits. I just really want my health back, man. There we go. Um, I do not take damage if I step in that. You know, if there's one small problem I do have with this game, is um, it involves fire. And it's whenever I get hit by a fire thing, um, like honestly, take a look at that on the ground right there. That looks like it would hurt me if I step on it, but it doesn't for some reason. Meanwhile, other flames in the games, flames that look a lot more mild, do. Like, I kind of wish there was an easier way to distinguish uh, fire that was residual, um, that it was like part of a burning corpse because you just killed it via fire that's like actually on the ground and will hurt you if you uh, if you hurt it. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a Consequentia statue spawn like this before. What is this? Uh, let's kill a monster. We can do that. Doesn't matter where it spawns, we'll just be able to find it regardless. Now, let's pick up the puffball because I kind of want my dragon alive for a little while. I think I did see some gold spawn over here. Yeah, right here. I'll gladly take that and put it back next to um next to this. Actually, what do I need to create that um? Let's see, not not half skill. Um, not encrusting. Actually, wait a second. That's oh, I need I need uh, four smithing power in order to create that. That's too bad. Yeah, I can create um potentially like another one of these. Oh oh, I just need one more emerald to do that. You know, two instances of regen, or maybe one to, like, use on an anvil would actually be fantastic, honestly. Out of that, or I could potentially, like, use an encrusting thing on a ring, but I think I need more, uh, more of all my stats in order to do that. Let's see. We might as well go all out with this one, because we, uh, can't really undo the door. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's just keep doing this, then. I'm gonna step my own fire, but it should be fine. What'd that guy cast on me? Um, that's dullness missile. That's not too bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's not too bad. Uh-oh. Um, okay, now that's bad. Oh, no, Dragon's still alive down there. Uh, let's just eat a Vampiric while we wait. Yeah, for you to walk next to me, and then we'll start to take care of you like so. There we go. Oh, I think I picked up a Fell Truffle there. I did indeed. Let's go ahead and eat that. Let's Moldsmith this, too, because I'd never used those. Inky thing. That might actually come in handy. The less means I have to uh, to heal myself, the more I actually value those kinds of things more. Okay, so bronze, uh, like iron. These are just like, this is pretty much just like fodder for, um... Oh, I'm almost back up at full health already. That's good. These are pretty much just, um... Is my inventory full? Yes, it is. Okay. Pretty much just fodder for, um... Uh, for uh, making bolts out of, which is always nice to have. And we still need to find out. Uh, we haven't found any of the uh, shops on this floor yet. Let's just go into the pocket dimension. Let's see. Okay, um... What could we craft with uh, with this again? We have a burnt-out wand. Wait, do we have a burnt-out wand? We might. I might just make that if we uh, don't... No, we don't. Okay. Oh, no, we have two. Yeah, we have two of them. I almost, for I almost forgot about that. We could potentially make um, oop, a fire wand as well. Uh, no, no, no. Go back up. Tesla wand. I don't know, maybe a couple other things, but let's see. Let's just go ahead and, like, drop all this garbage. At least all of these, because I don't really use them. I don't want to drop all of my... Ooh, another coal. Um, I don't want to drop all of my ingots. Uh, because, simply put, I should be able to... I don't think tin can transform into it, but I want to be able to make bolts on the fly. Because never know when you might need them in a game like this. Uh, you, never, you, you never know when you might want to fire something at something, but not want it to explode in their face. Okay, so we'll just continue to collect some things for now. Alright, um... Open the door. Oh, well, okay, that, that, that solves all my problems, actually. Brax is right here. Um... That was kind of silly, actually. Alright, so let's, um... Oh, that looks awful. That doesn't look too bad, but eh, meh. We'll um, we'll go ahead and sell all this. Let's see. Let's um, let's actually craft um. Oh, yeah. I keep paying C for craft, but no, that's character. Let's um, go into our menu. Let's uh, go ahead and just make some bolts. Worst case scenario, I'll just give these to uh to the Lufus God. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. What else can I sell even? I don't know. Maybe the mud run. 
It actually sells for something. It kind of surprised me, actually. Danish. Um, let's go to the pocket dimension. Now we actually have some uh, some slots open. Game's out of saving. I'm not sure why I would out save in here, but it just did. Let's see, pick up all of this. And with that, we should be able to sell for a lot. Sell all that for a lot of money at the shop. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, what am I still looking for for my character, or what have I discarded because, say, we like messed up something? Uh, let's see. We still need gloves and a helmet, so let's start looking for those. Okay, this looks strong. What is this? That's not bad. What we have is better in a lot of ways. Uh, what is this ring? That gives you a lot of things. Not sure if I want that though. That's a dagger. Not sure how much I like that dagger, honestly. Okay, that is a um. Uh, that's a helmet. Not really, the kind I'm looking for though. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen that before, actually. That's kind of rare. Uh, Dire Empowerment. We've been able to use that to great effect, so I think I'll go ahead and buy that. Uh, let's see. We don't really need that, nor want that. Armor for the head. That's armor for the head. I think we'll go ahead and buy that. Yeah, well, we'll buy the Steel Crown. And while we're here, we'll also try to... Um, to encrust it. Because, uh, honestly, we might as well. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll just sell it again. Should be right here. Good, I didn't break it. Good, okay, so now it's going to give me five more permanent health. That is good. So that gives me five more burliness, five more sagacity. Those are like my two favorite stats, actually. That's pretty good. Um, we're still missing... Wait, did that give me one less sight radius? It feels like it did for some reason. Huh, I feel like I'm seeing less, actually. What is this? Um, that looks like it would have... Um, oh, that's actually really good. That's a fantastic sword, actually. I uh, don't want to drink the Pie Noir. Okay, I don't see any gloves here, and I don't really see any, um... Oh, that's a fantastic axe axe as well. What's this? Time Lord Scarf. That is really good. Oh, man. I might buy that no matter what I have right now. That is far better, actually. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Keeps your neck warm through time and space. It is studied with enriched Arinium and is decorated with Eldrith Beach and Old Sages about Viking warriors. That is amazing. One more blast damage, one more burliness, ten more ice resistance. Um, one more magic power, three, block chance, two, counterattack chance, one sneakiness, one trap radius, uh, sight, and I think the three are the ones I'm, I'm very excited for. Uh, three more health and magic regen. Yes, now I restore a tick of health and magic every two rounds which is fantastic actually one two one two one two yeah see look that is amazing actually and i don't think i've ever actually have the pleasure of equipping that before that's actually probably one of the best scars in the game i'm not exaggerating either like it is really that fantastic i'm surprised i got that early uh of course and then again keep in mind that this is um Keep in mind that uh, we are not... Well, keep in mind that this would normally be the last floor, but due to the fact that I'm uh, uh, playing with a DLC on, it's we're only two-thirds of the way done. What's this, a shield? That's a good shield. That's a really, really good shield, but I don't really use shields. Let's see. Um, Broader axe? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I got a potion of healing from that. That could be useful. What the heck? Oh. That's mud run on top of bread on top of cheese. I'm not sure if you want that. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if you want mold growing on that kind of thing. Alright, what's up here? A lot of monsters. That's what's up here. Uh, um, hmm. Let me think. Let's put you right here. Let's go and dilute some monsters. From here, we'll run down here, try and quarantine some guys off. Yeah, there we go. So basically, I just have a bunch of um, turns to do this. Okay, that knocked you back one space. I feel like I should capitalize on this. One, two, three. I'm still going to be next to him. Let's let's eat some vampirics. Uh, you're like stunned or something, so you don't really see me. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, good. Uh, let's head up one. My guy is dead already. That is not good. 
Uh, do you see me? Yes, you're trying to kill me. Okay, we'll put you right there. You'll get distracted. Now give me time to, uh, to start smashing you as well. Alright, that's good. Um, let's try and toss a fireball here. I think the, um, oh, that didn't work out. The very least, that's going to start hurting those guys, which is pretty good. We'll throw another one down there just because we can. I think they hit the chest, but that doesn't really... Like, this isn't Gauntlet. You can't kill food by accidentally shooting stuff at it. Alright, there we go. And remember, never use magic on food, kids. Never. Because food is good. Alright, um... I think I've said that like three times in this playthrough now. What that's actually a reference to... Um, when you eat food in Gauntlet Dark Legacy, some characters have, like, funny little quirks to say about it. My, I forgot what class this was, but I remember my absolute favorite just being a guy going, Food is good whenever he eats, which is kind of silly. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like weird things like that. I like quirky games. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, let's just hit you. There we go. My health is okay. Where is my dragon? I wonder if he's still alive. I think I'll spawn another one here just to be able to play it safe. Okay. He's still alive. No, that killed you. Um, let's see. Oh wow, I actually killed most of the monsters in here. Let's just open this. What that give me? Gloves. We are looking for gloves. Those aren't good gloves, but they're gloves nevertheless. So I think I'll go ahead and equip them. Um... Let's see, is that a champion? No, it's not. The fact that it has a lot of acid around it kind of made me think that for some reason. Let's see, let's just put a pyre on that. My dragon is dead, so I'm going to spawn another one right here. Alright, good. I'll drink some brandy, too. Alright, let's go ahead and just eat some, or take some of these. Not eat them. Not yet. Unless there's a prince in here, which the, in which case I'll gladly eat it. What's that? Balmer Peak. We don't really need that right now. Uh, it's gonna go away pretty soon too. Actually, you know what? Nah, that gives me le that gives me far more magic power though. I think I might as well take advantage of that. Let's put a pyre on top of this guy. I want to kill that monster because he's actually kind of a threat. Uh, saw blades. Those are good. I really like those though. So we'll do that. What's this? Sash of the Blue Wizard. We have something better. Rubber pants. What pants do we have? We still have that kilt from like the beginning of the game. I admittedly kind of want to want to trade that out for something, but I'm not really sure what. Ooh, uh, heroic vandalism. Lively regen. That's good. Um, that's not great though. I think I'll skip on that one. Let's see. Um, let's put a pyre on top of you. There we go. I think they're going to be stuck there for a couple turns at least. What do you do? I think you like drain my magic or something. Get rid of the gnome. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, take you out. We'll come around this way. Alright, you're still dead. Nothing in there. pyre has gone. Heroic Vandalism. It's one after another reading off everything I see in this game. Alright. Do that. Axe. Alright, take that for Heroic Vandalism. Ooh, Eldrift Bolts. Those are good ones. Uh, let's put the night... We might not need the nightcaps. Uh, we'll, we'll... Yeah, man. I talked about this before. I don't think we're going to need the nightcaps because we have so much alcohol on us. Uh, we don't really need those ones either. Ooh, another Fell Truffle. I just noticed that we had one of those. Okay, don't mold smith that. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll go eat it right now. Let's see. Okay. I don't like my dragon dead, so I'll, I'll just spawn him again. Okay, good. Uh, wait, what are you standing on? A shield. That is... For barbarian, that's a good shield. I'm not a barbarian, though. I'm a mage. Actually, did I want to open this yet? I'm going to say yes. I think there might have been some things to the right and explore yet. Let's see. Let's just toss some fireballs. And then let's slam the door. Okay, he killed one of them. He was only able to kill one guy. Oh, man. Especially with a 
one of those in there. I don't blame him. All right, let's um put you right there. Toss a fireball. Until the dragon dies, I'm going to keep tossing fireballs. Okay. Let's also drink some alcohol while we're here, too. Might as well get some of that back. Um, vodka. We'll drink three of these. We're going to get extremely drunk, but I kind of just want the... Nah, we don't really need that much of it. Yeah, we're already mana blasted. That is unfortunate. Okay, speaking of unfortunate, let's, um... We're right there. I think I'll go in and start dealing damage myself while, while we're here. What is that? Oh, that's a clear vision potion. Yeah, there we go. Should be dead in like two turns. No, somehow not. You killed my dragon somehow. Oh no, what what killed you? That was a bit curious. Oh, there's still monsters in here though. What's that gonna do? Sound of machinery. That's gonna unlock an uber chest. Come on now. There we go. Oh, is my inventory full? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, well, I know one thing we can get rid of. There we go. We have Inconsequentia again. What can you give me? Okay, find item and take it to the monolith. Oh, and there's the item right there. I'm gonna go grab it and then bring it to the monolith. Okay. Oh, I one-shot that monster. That's good. Good, good. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh. My dragon is not going to live all that. I'll do what I can. Well, I'll see if he can do what he can, what he can though. That's not bad. He killed, like, two monsters. I should have put him in front of the, um... I should have put him right there, actually, thinking about that. Yeah, because that, that Diggle could have very easily just walked up to me and started hurting me, which is not really what I want to do. And there's a few items in here. I might have to go into the pocket dimension pretty soon. Oh, inventory's full. That... Ah, meh. <laughs> Lunum. Yeah, we're gonna have to go into the pocket dimension. All right, let's um. Actually, wait. What's the what's the weakest bolt we bolt we have? These. Let's let's confer these in the loot fisk. Remember, always craft before you do this. That's gonna convert into zinc if I uh, craft it. I say we just go ahead and do that. Uh oh. I hear my own monster. Alright, fine. We'll just carry this for the time being. Oh, another lobster main. That's good. Alright, let's, um... Start to head downwards. Nothing here. Okay, well, that's a dead end we don't have to worry about now. This is silly, just carrying around the time. You know what? I'm gonna just go into the pocket dimension. <laughs> She's like, I got a backpack full of stuff, and then I'm just gonna carry this ingot because I can. Like that—that's a little silly. I don't really need to do that. Let's see. Um, all this should be good. I can moldsmith this as soon as I get out of here. So let's just do it. Yeah, let's leave the pocket dimension. Uh, let's moldsmith this into... Ooh, good! Fell truffles! That is awesome. Okay. Oh, I just noticed that, yes, you can have over 100 of one item. I never knew that. Because aside from loot fisk, like... I, I think maybe it was like a Terraria thing in which some items you can and some you can't. Alright, let's, um... Oh, no, my dragon's blocking the way of the door. <laughs> that is not good. Let's go ahead and use our meteor effect on uh, these two. Good, okay, that worked. I did exactly what I wanted to, actually. Push them back so I can throw more fireballs. 
Cause it, that is what's doing the most mad damage right now. Let's see. Um, we're not in a rough spot, but I kind of hope we worry. We don't have to. Well, let's just kill you. Yeah, there we go. Then we'll defeat you. Oh wow, there are a lot of monsters in there. How's my dragon looking? He's dead. Okay, let's um, put another one right here. Distract these two monsters. And we'll take care of these two. Haircut. The corruption blob, and then the robo. Oh, and then the autosave. Very important part of the uh, very important part of the whole scenario right there. Uh oh. Oh, I leveled up. Um, hopefully I don't die as soon as I get out of this, because I didn't notice that, um... Uh, I didn't notice that I was standing in a puddle of acid. Alright, let's, um... Give it the momentum of Kana for, uh, for enhanced uh, combat ability. This is a good ability. It's pretty much the exact same as this, but more powerful. And it can stack with this. I mean, is my wallet within reaching distance? No, it is not. It's over on my desk. Alright, let's, um... I know. I'm always drinking my water. I'm gonna use the cap from my water bottle to the side. So heads, I'll pick that. Tails, I'll pick this. Because this one, the fact that it doesn't give me stats makes me think that it's going to um, give me another ability similar to that. All right. Heads. Okay. So we're going for the uh, for the dual wielding thing. Give about the momentum of combat for enhanced combat ability. Where rip and tear. There we go. Up. Oh. All right, buddy. There's no, there's no time to play PSP or something on your birth by sleep and blew a big plan machine. All right, let's um. All right, let's um. Still taking damage from the acid. Actually, am I? I don't think I'm taking damage from the acid. Uh oh. Okay, I certainly am. I just it's having a little hard of a time telling. <clears throat> Oh man, these genie are the worst. For crying out loud. Get out of here. What cast a nerve staple on me? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, get rid of that, okay. Right, so we'll eat the fellow truffle, we'll eat the lobster mane. Um, I'm gonna get, uh, let's see. I'm gonna put this down here. I kind of want to hold on to the Eldritch Bolts for uh, something better, because I actually do really like those items and don't really want to waste them. Do I have any food items? I'll, I'll eat a Harviti, or a Harvita, or however it's pronounced. Alright, let's, um... I really, really want to distract this Ginny, because I hate these enemies so much. Didn't work, didn't work. Oh, okay, now he's distracted. You know, I believe a little while ago, I mentioned how an enemy in this game reminded me of an enemy for Eternal Eyes a lot, in terms of design. These, this Ginny monster reminds me a little bit of, like a, it reminds me a little bit of a monster for Eternal Eyes as well. Mostly due to, it, it's really, it doesn't really look like him, but due to how he attacks and the fact that he's kind of like a Ginny, it just kind of makes me feel that way. I think the enemy is called like a King Kareen or something. I don't know. Play Eternal Eyes, it's a good game. Kind of like this. You might be able to take care of that on your own, but I kind of want to just leave the door open and, yeah, renew my mushrooms. It's only only one I can renew. I'll leave the truffle, too, and, like, moldsmith this while I'm here. Turn into an ear. That's good. Ears are fine. You might be able to take care of him on your own. Yeah, let's stand the door and just see what he can do. He killed one of them. He killed two of them killed three of them. That might be in the room, actually. Um, I think he's trying to make his way over to me, so it might be... It's this. Bad. It's bad. Shoved in my inventory. Alright, um... Oh, wow. Two of these. Uh-oh. Far daring. Let's, um... Put you right there. You know, I wonder if you can farm the game by the simple fact of having, um... <clears throat> The fact, the fact that my monster, that the monster I summon drops uh, gold, kind of makes me wonder if you can farm the game, or if you can grind off of your own monster. Okay, I picked up lockpick somewhere. I'm not complaining. I'm just happy about it. Um, got those ingot press I can put in there. Let's see, my dragon's hurting something, which is oh, food machine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I didn't really need to. What is that? Oh, that's a belt. 
That's, a, that's not a really good build. Why does that give me, like... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not keeping that. I don't really want that belt. Do I? I don't know. I'll think about it. Crawling will decide. <laughs> uh, let's see. I really want some help in this room. Let's put you down here. There might be more monsters below. Yeah, he's going towards something. Oh, uh, pick that up. Get both of these. Or all three of those. What's my inventory looking like? starting to get a little bit full. Uh, let's just put an iron bolt right here. No, I think you resist that element. Good, okay. Ooh, another fell truffle. Oh, I was right. It is a passive stat. That's not that good, actually, but I think it can stack, because I think I just saw it do so. And passes like that are always nice to have. Um... Let's put my dragon back down here. There we go. Start firing like bolts at this guy. You know what I actually want to do? I want to step up one and start firing fireballs instead. Yeah, that's a lot more effective. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, he killed him. Okay, um... Okay, good. I destroyed it. Good. Okay. Anything else down here? There's a lot of items. I also really want to buy stuff from the food vending machine. I just buy as much as you can, basically. Uh, because we can always use more ways to craft food. Okay. And I did buy a couple cheeses, so I think I'll go ahead and make a couple of these as well. There we go. That's good. That is amazing. Ooh, a burnt out wand. We could potentially turn that into um into a powerful one if we wanted to. I kind of like my normal ways of attacking right now. What's that going to do? Three uh, monster chests. Or evil chests. Uh-oh. Inventory's full. Okay. Um, Let's hop into the pocket dimension again. I want to take that food with me. Because you never know. Let's see, let's just drop uh, both of those on there. Not, quite, not that often you run into two of those uh, kinds of things consecutively like that. More coal. Drop that right there. Um, Those. I have a lot of food on me, but it's normally like... It's it's all just like one of like two different items. Uh, then we can moldsmith the mud wren. So if we desperately need to make some room, we can. I just want to drink some like weaker alcohol while I'm here. Might as well just get some health back. There we go. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's uh, spawn a dragon here. Let's open the chest. An item was in there. That's a hammer. That's a mace. Oh! Oh man, that gives me two magic regen. Well, we know what that means. Um, let's see. This appears to... I think I used this on an anvil. It didn't really work out. It kind of looks that way. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. Alright, well... I think I'm going to hold on to it still for that... Um, that one uh, that one crafting ability. But that's still really good. Uh, let's see. So that's 24. That's like... Like 39. 36. I think this may give me more raw damage, but I kind of like this just for the um, for the magic regen and uh, that one armor absorption. Oh, that's fantastic. That is amazing. Okay, good. I like that. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, now for this. That's another item. What is that? That's a staff. That's a good staff. I really what I'm into, though. And what's in here? A bolt eruptor. Okay, we have to look at this one. Actually, let me check something. What does my magic regen look like now? Every round. I gain a tick of magic every round now. What does it look like without it? It's still every round. So that one magic regen isn't really a factor anymore. So let's not look at that. So that gives me, um... 38 raw damage. Let's see, it's 32, 42. That's better. Oh yeah, that's... that's 
That's better in a lot of ways, actually. Okay, we'll equip the Bolt Eruptor. The one magic regen is not really a factor because I have, um... I... My magic regen is as best as it can because I, I get more... I get magic every round. I really don't see how that can be get get better unless I say... Would have, would have spawned, like, two magic every round or something. But I don't think I've ever seen that before. Alright, so we'll continue to pick this stuff up. Uh, what is that? That guy's standing on a good sword. We might not need alcohol ever again, actually. Actually, what am I thinking about? That's, um, that's not gonna be true. Okay, whatever you fired at me, I resisted. I'm gonna step in front of you. Yeah, there we go. I probably have way more counterattack rate than you have attack. Uh, those are good. Take that, take that. We'll kill you just so you stop. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh, and a friend is playing TF2 right now. Alright. Let's go ahead and drink that alcohol I just got. Yeah, I might as well just use it now. Because again, we're not going to need alcohol nearly... What is that? Mega Death. A terrifying phantasmal reaper with, men with menacing scythe and a couple of missing, um, Yolants. This monster's trying to kill you. Um, let's see. You're going to take a turn to walk up here. Yes, you are. There we go. Oh, that does stack. That's really good. Combat Momentum. So does that affect every time I get a kill or something? It kind of looks like it. That is really neat, actually. So it can give me a maximum of, like, three piercing and, two, and a six um, counterattack chance. That's not terrible. For a passive, that's actually quite good. I think I saw something drop a mushroom up here. Ah, oh, good, another fell truffle. And munch that down right away. There we go. Oh, this is a big room. Um, let me see. Let's go over up here first. Okay, just a dead end. Well, not really a dead end. It's a door there, but you know what I mean. Have I flipped this yet? No, I haven't. Hear the sound of machinery. I'm glad I flipped that. All right. Um, you got hurt by something. I think you stepped on a trap, actually. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, that. Did you guys see that? <laughs> that monster moved and confused me into hurting my own monster. That was tricky. I'm not sure if I approve of that. That's mean. I believe these monsters have some sort of way to drain my magic. Because um, I've seen them do it like three times now. So I'll put you right there. Yeah, they do have a way to drain my magic. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, uh, I still fell truffle up, right? Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and drink um, one of our. Br I, we'll drink like three, or two of the brandies. I don't want to get too drunk. Drink that too, because it's a passive. Yeah, there we go. Armoring. Good. Okay. Take that. Oh, uh, more rainbow graffiti as well. Oh, my inventory is full. Uh, let's see, that stat is gone. We'll multi-sniff this just to make some room. Did I use it? Oh, it transformed into itself. That's annoying. Let's see, let's put another warming right here. Start tossing some fireballs down here. I hit the genie if we can. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, this monster is all kinds of annoying. That should work. Uh, for a little while. Oh, what on earth happened there? I like, clicked off screen. Something weird happened. Uh, you're dead. Okay.
let's drink um some more brandy. Oh, you see me. I'm gonna drag him down because we can, honestly. There we go. Good, okay. Oh, I almost hurt my own monster again. Oh, we can make another grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, my inventory is full. Alright, um... I kind of want to explore this room fully and then use the rainbow graffiti. I also just really want to find a shop right now, too. Oh, this is the uber chest that um we unlocked. Okay, why did I run in here? This is a dumb idea on my part. Should I salvage it? Those monsters are very weak. Or physically weak. And I'm really excited to open that uber chest, too. I mean, you should always be excited for things like that. Voltic potion, that's good. Alright, what's in here? Ooh, that's a lot of stats. Um, I'm not sure if I like that, though. Just, like, literally a block of text. Oh, wow, look at that flavor text right there. Armor of this manufacturer is uh, worth the is worn the, by the Clockwork Knights of Her Imperial Majesty First Heavy Infantry Brigade. To its shame, the brigade was de um, was uh, decimated when an attempt to stole the the platinum citadel of warships of the Grey Worm and the Burrow in the Sky. This should not reflect upon the quality of the armor itself, but rather suggests the the um, the thassa crappy not in uh, crass crassy not overextended its land based supply li lines. When fighting elder beings, it is studded with, um, oh wow, okay, um, <laughs> I really don't really feel like we're in that whole thing, even though I almost did. <sighs> uh, let's see here. A rune? <laughs> okay, that's silly. A 0% chance of success. That is actually ridiculous. Take this garbage. All right, let's um. Oh, another prince mushroom. Did I eat it? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, right here, in the fire. Don't let it burn. Hmm. Okay, I'm at a loss right now. You know what I want to do, actually. I want to go over here and write down... Oh, there's even there's also this. Ah, man, nothing in there. Oh, no, there's a nightcap in there. Okay, let me open up a TXT document. I should really have this up and ready whenever I do this, but uh, let's see. Open that up. Um, E-Y-E-B-A-K-O-L-N-U-S-K-I-I. -I. Got it. Now again, I would normally never go into these because of what happened last time, but um, I kind of feel like testing my luck this time. That and I've already been into uh, Diggle Hell, so I know I can't go back again. Let's put this over here, because uh, I do really like the uh, the one um, uh, whatever chance it gives me. Let's see. Um, what could I also drop? I'm not gonna lie, we could probably be fine just doing this. Let's let's drop this. Or drop it by Mina, I mean do that, but uh, let's see. Most of these are just like one-off items I could probably eat. Alright, let's uh, just go over here. Um, let's see, move the TXT document so I can actually read it. There we go. E-Y-E. Bakol. Nusky. There we go. <gasps> oh, wait, that's red? Wait, you can go back into Diggle Hell. Because I want to say the red is exclusive to Diggle Hell. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I, I refuse to go back in there. I can't, I'm sorry about that, but I, I just really hate Diggle Hell. Like, I love the Diggles, but I don't want to uh, sit around them all day. I feel like we've been in, uh, in, in Diggle Hell enough for one playthrough, honestly. Nah, eh, whatever. You guys can always go in yourself, and I do recommend you play this game. I don't think I've ever Let's Played a game I didn't recommend people bought, actually, thinking about it. I don't know. I, I love playing games I love. What can I say? Oh, is that an anvil of Krong down there? I think it is. Look at how the room is set up. It kind of looks that way. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want to go to hell. <laughs> Who said that? I think it was the Super Gaming Brothers. I love that line. I forgot what they were playing when they said it, but I, I just found that hilarious. Let's see. Let's uh, put you right there.
There we go. Oop. There we go. I think I'm gonna be able to kill him on your own, actually. Oh, nope, okay, well, I helped you out anyway. Alright, this is kill everything in the room. There we go. Uh, except that, apparently. That's kind of silly, actually. Alright, let's go ahead and use this. Please. That's good. Gives me one more melee power and one more, um... And one more, uh... Actually, wait, no, that's not as good. Um... I like that one melee power, but this gives us that, too, via the one burliness. I'm gonna hold on to that one. That's good, and I appreciate that boost, but it just needs to be a little bit better in order to push through. There we go. I think I may have mentioned this before, but one of my personal favorite abilities in this game is um, it allows you to... Um, I forgot the name of it was, but it was part of the architecture... the um, like architects or explorers thing, which is one of my favorite skill trees. Um, and what it does is it allows you to, um, to just... It, it allows you to once renew an anvil of Krong. And you can do that once per anvil. And it's actually like really good for situations like that where I have like three things set up and I don't know what to use it on. Oh good, more fell truffles. That is always awesome. Let's go ahead and renew these two. I renew our lobster main as well, because we can, honestly. Oh, oh, there's the model. So as soon as I find that item, I can bring it back here. Oh wow, it's kind of off the beaten path too. Not sure if I like that, but we'll we'll come back to it regardless. Because uh, I like to complete all the things I can. Oh, another anvil. Well, who dares wins? Hey, there we go. That's the kind of boost I was looking for. Like three new stats right there. Yeah, one more savviness. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you so much, Krong. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and equip that right now. You know what? I think I'll go ahead and sell that old one. Oh, yeah, that's good. I forgot what savviness gives me. Actually, I think it tells me here. Um. Oh, that's things like... um. Magical Haywire Chance and Sneakiness. I think that it affects Critical Hit Chance as well, but I might be thinking of something else. It's good nevertheless, and I am glad I have a lot of it now. Or one more of it. There we go. Oh. Uh, Wood mushroom. Puffball. Oh. Go ahead and just molt with that right away. There we go. Another ear is fine. Uh oh. Um. Okay, let's put you there. Oh, there's a lot in this room. Hmm. Let's toss a fireball down this lane. That's not gonna hit me. No, it's not. That's gonna do damage to them too, which is good. There, just just kill them one at a time. One at a time. All you gotta do. If you feel overwhelmed, just kill them. Just remember, you can kill them one at a time and everything will work out fine. I do not approve of those monsters draining my magic, but I can always get it back. Then because I, I regain or I regen a, a magic per round now. It's kind of ridiculous. Let's see. I think we're almost done here, actually. Did you just revive yourself? I think you might have. Might have to look into that. Let's see. Pear wine is good. Well, it's not good. I'm going to drink it right now. That's nice. Now the ear is fine. This is another chest of evil room. Ooh, bolt of doubt. I like those. Uh, no, it's not. That's a horde of monsters. That's fine. We'll kill them all. There's a lot of them. 
<laughs> it's kind of silly. All right, um, let's put a fireball up here. Oh no, I want to aim it right there, but I think it might that might get in the way of it. Now they're perfectly set up for it, actually. Let's see. That's another one right there. Another one right here. Oh, nope, that hit me. That's not the greatest. It worked out anyway. Oh, my dragon's dead now. Let's go over new him real quick. Up oh, and just like that, we're losing health again. All right. Well, we actually have some food now, so we can get it back. Eating some of these cheeses. Will we wait for them to come over here? Come on now. There we go. Awesome. Let's eat both of these apples too. That bolt's going towards you. Wait, what's off that fire? They just up on a trap or something? Because I did not put a rune up there. Huh, that's a bit bizarre. Alright, um, I think you land on another trap. Yeah, I think they're just stepping on traps, which is a bit careless, but it, it, it works in my favor, so I'm not complaining. Another prince, too. Good, okay. Dragon right there. I didn't suspect that there was still a monster in here, but it, it just, I just like my dragon being around me. Oh, there's even a couple of them. Three of them. That's unfortunate. We'll take care of them, though. There's one. There's two. One at a time. There we go. What did I tell you? Everything works out in the end. Alright. Oh, still one left. There we go. Alright. I think next time we'll slam down the store, so I think we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.